It's your turn. You'll never walk alone. Well, and welcome to the Japan National Stadium for this round seven J League clash as FC Tokyo take on Kashima Antlers. It's the second time in four days that the home of Japan's national team hosts an FC Tokyo game following their 2 1 win here against Arau Reds on Wednesday. And they'll be hoping for a similar outcome today, having failed to win either match at their more regular home, the Ajinomoto Stadium, previously this season. It is a, a wonderful atmosphere. The extra capacity in this stadium for the visit of one of Japan's giants. Kashima Antlers arrived just a couple of points above FC Tokyo in the early table, but need the win just to keep pace with the early season pace setters. It's getting on for eight years now since the J League era's most successful club won the last of their eight J League titles. A return to Asian club competition has to be the minimum target for a side who finished what for them was a disappointing fifth last season. Contrast that with FC Tokyo, a club with big dreams and high ambitions, but they have never been Japanese champions. And that quest is unlikely to end anytime soon, given their inconsistent start to this season. Two wins, two draws and two losses from their opening six games. But they have found a bit of form of late, winning two of their last three. And a win here would be a big boost ahead of next weekend's returning Tokyo Derby against Tokyo Verdi. Kashima Antlers. Three wins for them so far this season. They have won two in a row, both at home against Kawasaki Frontale and Jubilo Iwata. But overall, including the end of last season, the form really does need to improve. They've won just five of their last 15 J1 matches and arrive here on the back of a 1-0 loss at League Cup winners of Vispa Fukuoka on Wednesday, ending a run of those successive victories. They also arrive having lost their last two games away from home. What a wonderful setting this is at the... National Stadium, where both the domestic cup finals are played. 
proved to be a lucky omen on Wednesday against the Asian champions, Arau Reds. Will it do so again today against Kashima Atlas? Everything, it seems, in place for FC Tokyo to be a successful club, but that success has yet to arrive on the field since their return to J1 after winning promotion in 2011. Plenty of support too from Kashima Adlers, both these clubs based in the greater Tokyo region where nine of this season's J-League clubs hail from almost half of the division. It's a 112-kilometre journey from the coast in a westward direction to the capital itself from Kashima. FC Tokyo's third straight match against former champions, having lost 3-0 to Kawasaki Frontale in the Tamagawa Classico. And they returned well on Wednesday to beat the Asian champions Arau Reds, albeit the outgoing Asian champions having fallen at the group stage of the latest round of AFC club competition. A couple of changes then for FC Tokyo from the midweek win over Arau Reds. Kosuke Shirai making his third start this season at right back. Midfielder Kai Koizumi spent three years featuring 46 times for Kashima Antlers, while Kuryu Matsuki was on target in midweek. Rotaro Araki, who's netted five goals up front this season for FC Tokyo, is unavailable against his parent club. He's on loan from Kashima Antlers. So Terahito Nakagawa starts at centre forward for FC Tokyo. How crucial will that be today? Peter Klamowski, the coach of FC Tokyo, was keen to quickly deflect attention from the fact that they were without Araki today. Hayato Shimizu is the 40-year-old referee in charge, taking charge of his fifth match this season and his 74th of his career. Takuto Okabe is the lead VAR official. Tomoki Hayakawa continues in goal in an unchanged defensive unit for Kashima Antlers. Yuta Higuchi and Hayato Nakama both come in on the wings in Kashima's only changes from the midweek defeat. Yuma Suzuki scored in Antlers' 3-1 win here last season. He's partnered by on-loan Slovakian Alexander Chavrich, who's netted a couple of goals already this season as Kashima Antlers look likely to switch to a 4-2-2 for this trip to the capital. Peter Klamowski, the man in charge, took over in June from the interim manager Takayoshi Ama after Albert Puig, the Spaniard who started last season in charge, resigned mid-season. Popovic, 56-year-old, has been in charge since December. He is a former coach of FC Tokyo. He was in charge of the capital club from 2012 to 2014. Fabulous noise inside Japan's national stadium. Will be FC Tokyo to get us underway. So can FC Tokyo build on that win against the Rao Reds in midweek by beating another J-League giant in Kashima Antlers? Side who have won Japan's top division eight times since its inception in 1993, the first of them in 96, the last of them in 2016. Strong challenge early on from Nakama. Shirai back on his feet, though, for FC Tokyo, the right back. Free kick quickly spread out wide to Tower Ratsumada. Bam 
And Magande to take the throw. His 50th top flight appearance today. Kashif Magnagande. Kagawa. Now Chavrich. Nakama making a run into the centre. Suzuki in there as well. Shimaranda's trying to pick their way through. with the header back to Anzai. Nakama. It's good football from Kashi Marandlers. The ball into the centre and Bang Nagande was there just to deny Chavrich. Arrived at the far post. Really good delivery. Chavrich just put off by the presence of Bang Nagande. Chavrich, a former Slovakian under 21 international. He's on loan from Slovan Bratislava. He scored 52 goals and 178 appearances. He's played in Denmark and Belgium. The likes of Genk and Aarhus. Koa sends it long for Kashimar Atlas. Throw goes the way of FC Tokyo. Let's go Shiraya right back. It's third appearance of this season. And able to get on the end of that, it's cleared away by Ayomichi Wader, centre back and captain of Kashima Atlas. 16 caps for Japan. Here's Trevisan. Towards Anjai. Kept over the top towards Matsuki. Sakigawa. Stepping away from Kagawa. Wins the free kick. Pre match talk about Monotara Araki missing from the FC Tokyo side. Five goals in six games this season. Victor Klamowski really keen, though, to say it's not just about one player and that the Kagawa will do a job up front for FC Tokyo. This season, Nakagawa started five of them, but he's yet to score in contrast to the record that Araki has produced so far this season. Here's Nono. Played into the penalty area. Higushi with the touchback. FC Tokyo get it away. Anzai. Chinen. It's a free kick for Kashima Antlers. Again, they just checking that Chavrich is OK. Scored on his debut in the 3 0 win at Nagoya Grampus on the opening weekend in Chavrich. Two-one victory. 
That's Kawasaki Frontale. Hands eye over this. Nozawa on his guard. Chavrich might fancy it as well. Focus, doesn't he? The Slovakian Chavrich straight into the wall, gets a second bite and fires it well off target. All did his job initially, timed the jump to perfection, and then he was always under pressure to try and keep that down. Chavrich as the ball came back to him. Stepping in and feeding Chavrich. Tarad Simida did well, though, sticking with him. It does look as though he's starting on the right-hand side. To believe it was going to be more of a traditional 4-4-2, but it does look as though Chavrich is out on the right. More of a 4-2-3-1, which is what we've seen Kashim Randler's Play this season. Come as attempted through ball cut out. And now the counter is on here for FC Tokyo. Tarat Sumida taken down. The referee didn't agree. Happy to wave play on. on by Anzai. Anzai's up against each other. Shoma Anzai, the right winger for FC Tokyo. Koki Anzai, the, the left back for Kashima Antlers. Foot in by Shirai. Chinan wrong footed by Nakagawa. Tarat Sumida cuts in, goes for goal, it's deflected. And behind for a corner. Good work from Kota Tarat Sumida. year old in just his second season with the first team squad featured 27 times in the last campaign 12 starts scored a couple of goals he scored in successive games in September October last season in wins against Sagan Tozu and Gambro Saka really positive run and shot for him on that occasion though and now it's Shomaranzai across to take the corner for FC Tokyo is in there, Trevisan, Doe forward from the back. Kanta Doe paying just his uh, fourth senior game for FC Tokyo at centre-back alongside the Brazilian Trevisan. Shomaranzai delivers. Poor delivery, though. Chavrich heads it away and the whistle have gone anyway. Six points off the top three last season, Kashima Antlers. Remember, it's the top two qualify for the Asian Champions League elite as it is now. Third place is good enough for the new AFC Champions League two competition, the second tier club tournament. Either would do for Kashima Antlers as they look to return to. Asian club competition. Emperor's Cup winners also qualify for Champions League Elite. Shirai's head up. Defended by Sekigawa.
Mexico. And back in by Koizumi. Battle out there at the moment, both teams struggling to keep any sort of concerted possession. So Kigawa towards Chavric. Bangagande gets it away. Gawada. On that, though, goal kick for FC Tokyo. Here's Trevor's out. Matsuki trying to switch it across to Shoma Anzai, but got that horribly wrong, the FC Tokyo captain. for the loose ball, but it's gone all the way through to Nozawa. Trevor's out, Koizumi. Good work by Banagande, coming in from that left-back position. Kosuke Shirai gets the cross in. Just too much on it, though, and Mayakawa able to gather in the Kashima Antlers goal. Goalkeeper who broke through in the 2022 season when he made just five first-team appearances. He's been the first choice since, though. Gande who will look to get forward as often as possible. It's about a year ago now that he won his first two caps and his only two caps for Japan, Banagande, in friendlies against Uruguay and Colombia. Japanese born, but as a Ghanaian father. The fact is, two caps for Japan were friendlies. He is still eligible to switch to Ghana if he fancies it. Tarat Sumida. There is Bangagande. Pulls it back to the edge of the penalty area, and then Nakagawa with the deflected shot behind for a corner. How he would love a goal today. Rahito Nakagawa. He scored just a four last season. His first after joining from Yokohama F. Marinos. He'd won the J League title in the previous campaign. Two titles with uh, F. Marinos. Corner delivered in. Trevisan rising got his head to it, but well white. Experience in Japanese football, Peter Klamovsky, former coach of Montedio Yamagata Shimizu S. Pulse. Nakama. Koki Anzai. Too much on it, though. from wide so far hasn't been great from either team. Former defender in his playing days, Ranko Popovic. 
Won a couple of Austrian Bundesliga titles with Sturm Graz. Trevisan with the touch back to Nozawa. Doi. Koizumi. Shimmerantler's midfielder. Coming up for offsides. 16 and a half minutes gone. Still awaiting the first real shot in anger from either side. A tight opening quarter of an hour or so. Kigawa, he was caught late by Nakagawa as he played that forwards. It was Matsuki actually who called him. The referee has called it back for the free kick. Yeah, rightly so, it was a bit of a follow through. Nothing dangerous, but certainly a foul. Anzai. By Shirai. Matsuki dispossessed by Sano. Noko. Bandaganda, with plenty of space to run into, has Tarat Sumida ahead of him. Plays the 1 2 with Nakagawa. Opened up for the shot for Shomaranzai, which is blocked away. Another potentially good counter for FC Tokyo coming to nothing is Doi. Shirai. Away by Anzai. Kigawa. This is Nono. Blocked away. Oeda does the job for him, though. Strong header by Trevisan. There's Chavrich. Kashim Randler certainly had the better of things between these two last season, taking four points from the two meetings. A 3-1 victory in Tokyo. A 1-1 draw in Kashima. They've lost just two of their last nine games against FC Tokyo, so they tend to have the edge in this. The last defeat was a 1-0 loss in Kashima in October of 2022. In May of the same year was their last defeat here when FC Tokyo won 3-1. Here's Anzai. Suzuki and fell for the uh, first time shot from Higuchi. Too many blue and red shirts in the way, though. Here's Anzai. Swings the cross in. Not for the first time, the cross is over hit. Uh, nowhere near anybody in a white shirt. campaign all round last season for Kashim Rantlers, the fifth place finish which is just about par for them. Went out of the Emperor's Cup in the third round on penalties to second division Venfer at Kofu who actually won the Emperor's Cup the previous season as a second division side and also exited the League Cup at the quarter-final stages. It's a great deal for the Kashim Rantlers fans to get too excited about last season. to have been brought up on success. It's 
Bang Magande. Play behind Cope. Chance maybe to counter for Kashima Atlas. Nakama, Higuchi. Suzuki looking a bit isolated up there, in fairness. Morales, as you'd expect, with more of the ball, but not a great deal more. Ayakawa. By Ueda. That's sloppy. Matsuki, captain of FC Tokyo, at just 20 years of age. Kuyu Matsuki, Japanese under-23 international, played at the under-20 World Cup last year. Scored his first of the season in the 2-1 win against the Rao Reds on Wednesday, which matched his tally for the whole of the last campaign. The first time that Yuma Suzuki is complaining about being caught in the face. One of his 14 goals last season was scored in Tokyo against FC Tokyo. Suzuki after this one. Back to Suzuki, here's Higuchi. Run into Trevisan. Sakigawa. By Anzai, Nakama. To pull the trigger when Shirai timed the block to perfection. Me. Left that short, was fortunate to pick possession back up again from Nono. And a chase on here, Tarat Sumida, faced by Oeda. Might go it alone. It's gathered by Hiyakawa. Wrong decision in the end from Tarat Sumida, but it was a good run. Tokyo more than happy to get bodies back behind the ball when Kashi Morantlers are in possession. Trying to pick their way through now. Here's Chavrich. Cleared away by Doi. Completed by Shirai. Chinan got the foot in. It's a throw for FC Tokyo. Suffered one loss in the capital already this season, Kashimura Antlers, they were beaten 1-0. Away at the leaders, Machida Zelvia. Side who won J2 last season. They've come up and taken the top flight by storm. Shirai. This may well have been the last touch. Indeed it was, deflected back off the right back. Shimrandler's goal kick. I haven't 
finished outside of the top five of J1 Cash Adler since the, the club's lowest ever finish in 2012 when they finished 11th. So they've been consistently up there challenging. It's that ninth title that they covet. Average. Sends the ball into the centre towards Suzuki and Shirai was there to get the block on it. Chavrich again. Trevisan needs that one away. It's a throw for Kashimar Antlers. It's good delivery from Chavrich. Sakigawa. Anzai. Oeda. Now Chavrich. As soon as he gets the ball, Suzuki makes that dart to the penalty area. Higuchi, Suzuki, Higuchi. It's a deflection. Took the sting out of it, but it's a corner for Kashima Adlers. Now beginning to put one or two telling moves together in and around the FC Tokyo penalty area. We haven't seen enough of from either side, really. Into Higuchi with the corner. Radar being closely watched by Taurat Sumida. Well, that's a fair match-up if it comes to the Kashima Antlers captain in the air. Swung across the header straight into the hands of Nozawa. Koizumi. Just won a season, Koizumi. Scored just one in the whole of the last campaign. Already has his goal for this season in the 2 1 loss to Vissel Kobe. Week three of this season. One of FC Tokyo's home games that they played at the Ajinomoto Stadium, which is their official home ground. Lost to Vissel Kobe and drew with Sanfrecce Hiroshima there. Sano. Zai. Chavrich stepped away from the first challenge, not the second though. Koizumi got the foot in and Koizumi has it again. Good feet to step away from Nono. Tarat Sumida. Back from Shoma Anzai. And the return with too much pace on it. Half an hour has been a relatively scrappy affair. FC Tokyo have made the uh, ultimate inconsistent start, really. Two wins, two draws, two losses from six games. Shimranta's not far off, though. Three wins and two defeats. Here's Anzai. Followed up by Anzai. Sano got himself into a bit of trouble, and here's Ueda. Chavrich has made the run in behind Banagande. Couldn't deliver the cross, though. Perfectly timed ball. Tied Banagande up in knots there, Chavrich, with his run. Product this time. Here's Shirai. Shirai again. 
Matsuki made the run, but the ball didn't arrive. Swung in by Tarat Sumida. Here's Trevisan. Matsuki in the centre, oh, it's a crazy bit of defending. Kagawa was going nowhere. It was taken down by Kai Chinen. Now FC Tokyo with an opportunity to deliver the ball into the Kashima Atlas penalty area. Kuyu Matsuki across to take it. Turnout here from both the home and away supporters. It's fantastic noise around the Japan National Stadium, which holds just under 70,000 when full. 68, 698, the official capacity. Matsuki with the free kick. Punched away by Hayakawa. See, Tokyo can keep them pinned back here, though, had the ball been better. Hayakawa gathers in and then was caught on the follow-through. Trevisan, the player that the Kashima Atlas defenders are going after. He's got every right to jump for the ball there. Catches the goalkeeper in the back, but it... It wasn't an elbow or anything. It was a natural collision. Talking to no more for Henrik Trevisan. Second spell in Japanese football after a loan with Oita Trinita back in 2021. He turned to J1 in 2022 from Estoril in Portugal, where he was struggling for any game time. Nono. Wader. Miyakawa shifts it on to Sakigawa. Anzai. No way through there for Matsuki. Kagawa couldn't retrieve it back, and this is Ueda for Kashima Antlers. So Kigawa. Anzai made the run for him. Suzuki did well to pick up the ball there. It was intended for Anzai, but it was nowhere near him, the initial pass. Nakama back to Sano. Now Chinin. Nono to Chavric. Wada. Too high for Suzuki. minutes of a relatively uneventful first half in truth in terms of goal scoring opportunities neither Nasawa or Hayakawa have been called upon to do anything out of the ordinary in the respective goals corner for Kashima Atlas
the season with an away win at Nugoi Grampus, but have lost their last two on the road to Machida Zalvia. Vispa Fukuoka. Win at Nugoi Grampus though on the opening day. They're only winning their last eight away from home. Suffered five defeats in that run. Taken short to Chinan. It's a free header, but it's past the pose from Kaishu Sano. Just managed to step away from Trevor Zan and find himself a, a little bit of space, Sano. Disappointed not to have hit the target. Who hasn't scored since September? Last season, 2-2 draw at Shona Balmare. of that possession, did they cash him around as Chinan putting it out for an FC Tokyo throw. Sano wins it back. Oh, that was late. That's surely going to be the first yellow cards. OK, Koizumi against his former club. the ball and right through Hayato Nakama Takigawa now Ueda it's a wayward through ball Seems guilty of being too impatient when in possession. Trevisan on for Matsuki. Hasn't been able to stamp his mark on the game yet. The creative force of that FC Tokyo midfield. Kuya Matsuki. Twenty years of age and making his 60th J1 appearance, Matsuki. Here's Suzuki. It's a good challenge by Trevisan. Danger not over yet, though. No free kick. It was right in front of the referee. Sano battling to win it back. There's all sorts of challenges flying in. And the Kagawa, the player down. Been an almighty physical contest, particularly in the midfield. Trevisan pulling out of that one as Higuchi went down. A little bit of contact though. Higuchi at the same time was looking for it. Just under five minutes to the break. FC Tokyo nil, Kashima Antlers nil. to choose. Kashi Morales with more of the ball, but neither side really has created a, a noteworthy goal-scoring opportunity. It is a fixture that normally has goals. You have to go back to May of 2004 
Almost 20 years ago, for the last time it finished goalless between these two. That was a 0-0 draw in Kashima. by Nozawa. Launch forward by Dowie. Zai under pressure, and well, that's a, a free kick given away. Shoma Anzai on Koki Anzai. Shot you just saw, by the way, was uh, Ryotaro Araki watching on in the stands. Player owned by Kashima Antlers, but on loan with FC Tokyo this season. though against his parent club and the, the problem FC Tokyo have here is they scored nine goals this season and Araki has scored five of them. Peter Klamowski can talk it down all he wants but that is a big miss from the FC Tokyo forward line. The face for Yuma Suzuki from Shomaranzai. So what can they work here, Kashima Antlers? So Higuchi is over this. The way that Sakigo are forwards. Higuchi delivers. It's the best delivery though, again, failed to clear the first defender. Here's Chavrich. On the loose ball. Fourth turn not coming off for Chavrich this time. Possession given away by Shirai. It's a throw for Kashima Antlers. Higuchi. Chavrich. Now Nakama. On by Anzai to Sano. Is there to be late drama at the end of this first half? Not with a ball like that, though, from Nakama to Anzai. Against the Royal Reds, by the way, on Wednesday, ended a run of four home games without a win in the league. Three losses and a draw in that run. One by Cope. Shirai. Not a handful, though, of J1 clubs who switch the home venue and split home matches between different stadiums around Red, Yokohama, F Marinos do that. It's Weda. Wonder though if it helps with home form consistency. Here's Anzai. Suzuki. Anzai. Now 
Kyle Shirai. Masaki couldn't get the better of Seki Goaz. Good defending from the Kashim Randler centre back. Here's Sano. Bono made the run for him. Higuchi plays it out to Chavrit, who tried to play it in first time to Nakama, who was making his way into the penalty area. Once again, though, that final ball just not coming off. Anzai. So nearly 20 years since a goalless draw between these two sides, but it is goalless after the opening 45 minutes here. Both teams have been struggling to create too much in the way of chances. It's been a well-contested game, though, plenty of physical challenges that have seen Kai Koizumi pick up a yellow card for FC Tokyo in that first half, but neither goalkeeper unduly worried at half-time here at the Japan National Stadium. It's FC Tokyo nil. Kashima Atlas nil. Now let's watch the first half highlights.
皆様のダゾーンへの加入と FC 東京の試合視聴時間の長さで J リーグからクラブへの分配金が大きく変わりますスタジアムにご来場の皆様とスタジアム観戦だけで満足せず本日の試合もぜひダゾーンにてご視聴お願いしますオフィシャルエクイプメントパートナーはアディダスジャパンモルテンスコープ振興パートナーはスポーツくじオフィシャルチケッティングパートナーはフィアオフィシャル EC プラットフォームパートナーは楽天グループオフィシャルテクノロジー
So welcome back to the Japan National Stadium. Sides so making their way out for the second half. It's FC Tokyo nil, Kashima Antlers nil. After uh, a win already today for the leaders, Machida Zelvia at Kawasaki Frontale. A point would only be good enough to see Kashima Antlers five points adrift of the early pace setters. It is a game they could do with winning. They have a, a favourable run of matches coming up. Kyoto Sanga at home next Saturday. The League Cup gets underway before games against Sagan Tozu, Gambro Osaka, Shonan Balmare, and Kashiwa Reisol. There's a run of games that they would have been eyeing to put themselves right in the title frame. Last season never really got going. 2024 is threatening to go the same way. Had more of the ball in the first half, but their chance creation was pretty poor. Too many wrong decisions in the final third. The same could be labelled too at FC Tokyo. They haven't shown a great deal of the form that saw them beat Arau Reds here in midweek. But then it was a couple of early second half strikes that Got them up and going after they were a goal down at half-time, FC Tokyo. On the horizon, that big Tokyo derby against Tokyo Verdi. Back in the top flight, they have a couple of Tokyo derbies with Machida Zelvia coming up as well. Kashima Antlers get the second half underway. FC Tokyo nil, Kashima Antlers nil. The Japan National Stadium. Launched out towards Nakama. for FC Tokyo would leave them on nine points. In the bottom half of the table. Nakama. It's down to Ko. Nakagawa. Trevisan. Tara Sumida. through for Bangna Gande, it's inadvertently found its way to Matsuki. Tarat Sumida, now Shirai, swings the cross in. FC Tokyo not happy at all with the fact that the referee has blown the whistle, but I think he's feeling a bit of pain in his back too, in fairness, after that collision with Higuchi. FC Tokyo felt they were in possession of the ball and the referee should have played on, but he was certainly feeling his back and he still is. May well have jarred that the way he collided with Higuchi. back on his feet again. Starting with a contested drop ball, here's Chinan. Other side making any changes during the break. Stepping away from Sakigawa. Koizumi. Shirai trying to get the cross in. See Tokyo fortunate to win it back. Here's Trevisan. Tarat Sumida. Good challenge though by Chavrich.
Doi. Back from Shirai. Suzuki didn't have too many options but picked one out on the edge of the box in Kei Chinen. Couldn't keep the shot down though. It was better though from Kashima Atlas, it was more measured and it may well be that Suzuki would have been offside anyway. Just got underneath it, Chinen. Fired over the top. It's been five goals last season, Kei Chinen, but Yet to get off the mark this season. Joined the club before the start of the last campaign from Kawasaki Frontale. wins Chinen at Kawasaki Frontale. So far, though, hasn't been able to inspire Kashima Antlers to challenge for the top crown. That's where the club feel they should be. Hayakawa on to Sekigawa. Wanzai. Ueda by Nono back from Chavrich. This is Chinen. Chavrich. Higuchi seems to have recovered from that collision with the referee. Shimizu seems to be moving all right now as well, the official in the centre. Here's Nono. Foot in from Bangnagande. Suzuki helps it on. Clipped into the penalty area to Nakama. And Anzai tried to drive it across, but FC Tokyo had the bodies back to get it away. Here's Nakagawa. Matsuki. Nakagawa. It's a corner. Sakigawa with the block. He's worked hard, Nakagawa. Leading the line. And two time former J1 winner with Yokohama F. Marinos. To make an impact in front of goal this season. Never been the most prolific striker. He scored 35 in 140 games for F. Marinos. His first move away from the club to join FC Tokyo last season. Low delivery headed away by Chavrich. Shirai. Matsuki couldn't take it down. Tarat Sumida found a bit of space and fired it dangerously. Across the six-yard box. Nobody in red and blue able to get a significant touch on it, though. Good work from Rat Sumida. It was Kota Doi, the centre-back, who was the furthest forward. think that Yotaro Araki may well have been on the end of a delivery like that had he been available.
Shirai's header. Boisano. Towards Suzuki, it's a FC Tokyo throw. Shimaranda's bench options going through their warm ups. And Ranko Popovic decides to make his move. Out and out forwards, though, on the bench for Kashimarantlers. Most of them are midfield options. The Brazilian Guillaume Parede, though, who is a uh, an attacking midfielder come forward. Good versatility on the bench. It's not an out and out goal threat. Trevisan. Swung in by Matsuki, the free header, and it's in from the Kagawa. Tokyo's number 39. Stepping up just when he had to in the absence of Yataro Araki, their leading goal scorer. It's a lovely delivery from Matsuki. And Nakagawa just had to time his jump right, get his head on the ball. And Kashimura Antlers find themselves a goal down. And FC Tokyo on course for a second big win of the. Japan National Soccer Stadium in the space of four days. And you can see what that goal means to Terahito Nakagawa. Lovely ball from Matsuki. And you have to say, Tonaki Hayakawa and the Kashimura Antlers goal has made a right mess of it. Perfect delivery, though, from Kuru Matsuki. Such a key man for FC Tokyo. And great awareness from Nakagawa. He knew that Hayakawa had sold himself, and he simply had to guide it goalwards, and it was in. And we have a breakthrough from Terahito Nakagawa. FC Tokyo 1, Kashimura Antlers 0. They did against Ara Reds. They've scored early in the second half. In that game, they were a goal down and came back to win 2-1. This time, the early second half goal puts them in front. But here come Kashimura Antlers. For a third defeat in their opening seven games, that certainly... Here's the title challenging form. Here's Matsuki. Cut out by Sano. Anzai. Here's Nono. Chavrich outside him. Goes for goal himself and something of a waste from Kimito Nono. Twenty-two hadn't played a senior match, Kimito Nono, before the start of this season. He made his debut in the opening day win at Nagoya Grampus and has kept his place at right back since. Ambitions there of his first senior goal, but he was well off the mark. Here's Ko. Shirai. To space for Anzai. It was blocked by Koki Anzai. See Tokyo have a corner. Take them above Kashimura Antlers in the league table after seven games. And into the top six.
corner swung in, Trevisan jumping to meet it. Goal, Nakagawa for himself personally, importantly for the team. In the absence of Nataro Araki, who's been such a goal scoring threat for them this season. Swinging corner, the header down past the post from Trevisan. They're certainly buoyant at the moment, FC Tokyo. Matsuki. Trying to return it to Nakagawa. It's left short, though. Bang Nagande intercepting. This is Ueda. Pressure from Bang Nagande. And Nono gets it forwards. Suzuki. Here's Chavrich. The pressure from Matsuki. Chavrich did well to get any kind of delivery in from there. Kashimura Antlers still have it. Nono. Now Chavrich with time and space. Clips it across. FC Tokyo get it away. Driven back in by Nakama. And that's a corner for Kashima Adlers. Now we're gone. FC Tokyo in front. It's to Terahito Nakagawa's goal. Make a change. Ayato Nakama being replaced by Tomoya Fuji. Light for light, one left winger for another. It's a deep delivery, though, way too deep. Ueda can't pick up the loose ball. Suzuki did. Ueda plays it back in. Trevor Zan. With the header out, struggling to get it away here, FC Tokyo, Suzuki, now Ueda. Finally, Anzai should get it away. Clipped out wide for Koki Anzai, but well read by Shirai. Suzuki, it's deflected, but only into the arms of Taishi Nozawa. It's against Kawasaki Frontale and scored a penalty in the 1 0 win against Jubilo Iwata last weekend in Suzuki. the line in a target man sort of way drops off a lot and at times when Kashima get the ball forward there's uh, not a center forward in the penalty area <laughs> Kato Endo replacing Kota Tower at Sumida International with a, a couple of caps, Kata Endo. It's actually on loan from German side Union Berlin. To Kigawa, to Hayakawa. by Cope. Endo has just come on, by the way, a former J1 winner of Yokohama F. Marinos back in 2019. 
It's a Yokohama F Marinos team that denied FC Tokyo their only shot of the title when they finished runners up, their best ever finish, FC Tokyo. Finished six points behind Yokohama F Marinos that season. Incidentally, just a point above Kashi Morandlers, who were third in that campaign. As close to a title before or after that season, FC Tokyo. Here come Kashi Morandlers, though, and the effort fired straight at Nazawa by the substitute Fuji. Shot with great intent. Comfortable save again from Nozawa. So Kigo has had it. Here's Ko. From Koizumi. Shirai. Again, day to Trevisan. Getting his foot on the ball but not winning it. Go up. Now Anzai. Fuji taking on Shirai. And he's got the pace on him. Shirai bundles him over. And that's going to be a yellow card. And now Kosuke Shirai really is on the back foot up against the pace of Tamoya Fuji, the Kashimura Antlers substitute. Examples, anything to go by. There's going to be no contest when it comes to a foot race between those two, and that will be a concern for Kosuke Shirai, especially now. Higuchi over the free kick. Shirai with the header away. Zan's header, Ueda. Matsuki did well to win the ball and skip away from Ueda. Still going. Cheatham was pulling on him. A talk surprise if the referee went back and booked him for that. Here's Endo. Sends the cross in. It's off the crossbar. Well, did Nakagawa get the touch or did it come off Sakigawa? Either way, FC Tokyo inches away from doubling their advantage. And that is a big, big let-off for Kashima Atlas. Anzai. Now Fuji. Fancy a run against Shirai now. Anzai coming back to help him out. This is Koki Anzai. Now Fuji, Sano, oh, tried to pick out the run of Yuma Suzuki. How close was Nakagawa to grabbing his and FC Tokyo second? It's a lovely ball across, and indeed it was off the knee of Nakagawa. Just got away from Sakigawa. Fabulous delivery from Kaita Endo, the substitute. And that is how close FC Tokyo and Nakagawa were to a second goal. Chavric. Fuji. Shomaranzai comes back to double up now with Kosuke Shirai every time. Fuji gets the ball. Higuchi. Fuji, 
Anzai. Fuji, Anzai. Lovely exchange of passes, but the final touch was off the Kashimura Antlers left back. And it's a goal kick for FC Tokyo. And there's the goal by which they lead. Just loving the Japan National Stadium. Just a point from their opening two games at Ajinomoto so far this season. They're heading for six from two games. Against two of the traditional powers of Japanese football as well, Rao Reds and Kashima Antlers. Traditional powers that, in truth, haven't done too much domestically in recent times. The Reds, though, winning their third Asian Champions League last year since their last J1 title back in 2006. There's Anzai. Right, Reds and there's two clubs who feel it is way too long to become Japanese champions again. Sakigawa. Hammer away from Doi. Certainly hasn't been much to suggest that Kashima Antlers will end their weight this season. Ueda. Sakigawa. Anzai picks out Fuji, trying to get the ball to him as often as possible. Speedy winger with fresh legs. It's like the last 20 minutes. Kasha Maratla's heading for a second defeat in four days after the 1 0 loss at Avispa. Fukuoka midweek. Chinan. There's Chavrich. The referee, I thought, was allowing play to go on and then may show him a retrospective yellow. He didn't do that. Suzuki. Intercepted by Trevisan, the flick on from Masaki towards Nakagawa. Here's the free kick. Foul by Ueda. Double change being ready by FC Tokyo. Jaja Silva, the Brazilian, always being ready. He didn't. Ricky Harakawa. Strong header by Ueda. Koizumi. Shoma Anzai. Koizumi. Space to Endo, who we know can deliver an accurate ball. We saw that with that chance a moment ago for Nakagawa. Bang Nagande. 
Matsuki, well played. Bought himself a bit of time to deliver on the right foot. Sakigawa with the header away, and it's a corner for FC Tokyo. We're looking to pick off Kashima Antlers now as the away side attempt to get themselves level. Changes. Kagawa, the goal scorer, is going to make way. So the one by which they lead could have had another. He was just inches away from making it 2 0. He has his goal, his first goal of this season. He is replaced by the Brazilian Jaja Silva. Oh, he's replaced by Ricky Harakawa. Fourth appearance of the season for Harakawa. He'll go into the midfield. Jaja Silva up front. It's the 15th J1 appearance for Jaja Silva, the Brazilian, since signing midway through last season. All of them from the bench. Swinging corner, headed away from Ueda. Featured eight times last season from the bench. Six this season, Jar Jar Silva. He's yet to score for FC Tokyo. Shimurant is preparing a double change as well. The throw quickly taken by Banda Kande. The wader across. Foot in by Nono. Here is Jaja Silva. Trying to exchange passes with Matsuki and now Fuji can break away for Kashimurantlas. He needs to run Shirai here. And he is taking him on. Did well this time, Shirai. Here's Anzai. Oh, and a bit of confusion there between goalkeeper and defender Contadoi. No harm done, them. No harm done. Gathered by Nozawa. And again, they with the foot in. Running out of time and ideas, Kashima Antlers, it seems. No wins the throw. by Endo. Higuchi has been really busy. Four Kashima Antlers buzzing around, but finding it hard to affect the game in the way he would have liked. It's Koizumi. Shomaranzai. Shirai has gone charging forward, the right back. Still up there, here's Jar Jar Silva. He's playing in the UAE before he 
he signed for FC Tokyo, Jaja Silva. Anzai. Koizumi. Now Shirai finally gets the ball, having stayed forwards. Delivered the ball way too early, there was nobody in there for FC Tokyo. Comfortable bit of defending for Naomichi Ueda. Now heading for a third successive away defeat, Kashima Anlands. It's the away form that's going to cost them where they want to be this season. So they can sort it out. Here's Fuji. Suzuki trying to get forward ahead of him. Fuji feeds it to Suzuki now. Decision-making from Yuma Suzuki has been far from where it needs to be today. It's going to be a triple change. Fields. Sumura, Shuma Dui coming on in midfield. And Radomir Mil Savoljevic. Serbian forward is coming on for will be his debut since signing from. Voivodina. It's Fuji. Back with Anzai. Out wide to Matsumura. Now Nono. Fuji. Dagnaganda got his head to the ball before the Collision with Matsumura. I've been hoping his countryman Savajevic can pop up with a debut goal. Then a cash him around. There's at least something from this contest. They've been well below par as they were against Avispa Fukuoka. Sakigawa. This thing stand. FC Tokyo, we go into that derby. Four points ahead of their city rivals. Here's Matsuki, Jaja Silva! Really should have opened his account. Kuru Matsuki again. At the centre of all things good that FC Tokyo have produced. Jaja Silva towing the ball to him. And he timed the ball through to perfection, but that's a poor finish from Jaja Silva. He actually mishits this. Scuffs it off the heel. See, Tokyo have had the chances to be out of sight in this game. Nakagawa hitting the crossbar, and then that one from Jaja Silva. And it remains at 1 0. And despite not playing well or creating a great deal, Kashima Atlas still in it at 1 0.
hopeful. Almost every one of them wearing a Kashimar Antler jersey amongst the travelling supporters. Free kick is a, a deep delivery. Pushing and shoving at the back post. So we're rushing to the referee and suggesting there should have been a yellow card for a dive here. Endo it was who threw himself to the ground. Just under 53,000 the turnout for this one. Some 4,000 more than the Ginomoto Stadium, their usual home ground holds. Touched away by Shirai. Savajevich, Oeda, swung in by Nono. Final touch of an FC Tokyo defender, and it's a corner. Thought he was in Suzuki. It's a good ball by Nono. The last touch you can see from that angle was off the. FC Tokyo man. William Parade is coming on for Kashi Morantlers. This of Kaishu Sano. It's the corner just out of the grasp of Nozawa, but cleared away by Koizumi. Shemaranders have made all five substitutions now. Have less than five minutes plus stoppages to try and force an equaliser. Just two wins in the last nine against Kashi Morantlers, but they're on course here, FC Tokyo. Yakawa gets it away. Foul on Nono by Endo. They've still got two subs left, FC Tokyo. Another change. Being readied. Another change or two, maybe, from Peter Klamowski. He's going to be delighted with his team's work if they can see this one out. Six points against the Rare Reds and Kashima Antlers. Perfect form to be running into the Tokyo Derby against Tokyo Verdi next weekend. First of successive Tokyo Derbies because they then entertain newly promoted Machida Zelvia, the current league leaders. Kumato is on. Shimmer and 
first free kick swung in, headed away by Jar Jar Silva. The delivery in towards Suzuki. Too high for him, though. It's been lively, Fuji, since coming on. Suzuki beaten to that by Trevisan. The momentum. Masaki. Endo. Exchange of passes with Harakawa. He's played his part again. Kuru Matsuki. Fuji. Can they grab something here? Right at the death, Kasia Muratlas. Milosevic. Challenged by Matsuki. Two of the FC Tokyo players suggesting there was an elbow there, but didn't look it from that angle. has been chopping at the bit to make his debut. It'll be a memorable one, though. Six minutes to be added on. He does step across Matsuki, but certainly wasn't the, the swing of the arm and the contact that the FC Tokyo captain was suggesting. Guerin Parede is over this, the Brazilian. He's actually on loan from Argentinian club Talleres. towards Sakigawa, who was forwards. Summer unable to get the delivery in, but wins the throw. Caution to the win time now for Kashima Atlas to try and avoid a second defeat in four days by the same scoreline as well. Too difficult to work out what end of the pitch the problem is for Kashima Atlas. As it stands, are set to have scored just seven goals in their opening seven games. It was unconditional, though, the support of Japanese spectators. Shimura's fans still jumping up and down, still chanting, still doing their bit. Guillaume Parade with another chance to deliver. Kigawa, Ueda forward, Suzuki in there, in it goes, Suzuki challenges. Koizumi clears it away towards Jar Jar Silva. That big chance to give FC Tokyo a bit of breathing space, but couldn't take it. Now the chase on from Kosuke Shirai, it's the right back who's forward here. Cuts in Shirai. Too close to Hayakawa. Good expansive play, though, from Kosuke Shirai. Tomoya Fuji. Sumura, well to dig out the cross, but it was too close to Nozawa.
three minutes away. Another big scout for FC Tokyo. So Yoshi Ogashiwa, new signing from uh, Consadoli Sapporo, who's only played a couple of times this season. Involved in the match day squad, but down there on the bench. Willing FC Tokyo on. Jaja Silva. Brazilian gets it back again. Savoyevich winning it for Kashimar Antlers. It's off Harakawa, two minutes. Kashimar Antlers throw. It's only early in his tenure, but Ranko Popovic will come under a bit of pressure here. Suffer a third defeat in their opening seven games this season. It's a club that expects better. Fuji. Ueda. The delivery though. Haraka were there to cut it out. Ueda wins the header. And here's Matsumura. Now the turn and shot from Guillaume Parede. Off target. Facial expression of Yuma Suzuki says it all. And so does his. Staring blankly into space. Branko Popovic. This is his sixth job in Japanese football. He's previously coached Oita Trinita, Machida Zelvia on two occasions. Serizo Ozaka. Of course, FC Tokyo, but it's not a good return for him. Gashua will be hoping for more appearances than he's managed so far. He's yet to make his full debut. His two appearances so far have come from the bench. Anzai's header. Anzai. Now Ada. A matter of seconds now. Bang Nagande with a big challenge. Here's Jar Jar Silva. Bang Nagande continues the fight. Charging forward. Matsuki is up in support. Here is the Tokyo captain. Now Bang Nagande. He's just happy to hold the ball in the corner. Or is he? He's found a way through, Bang Nagande still going. No foul. Peter Klamowski, the Aussie coach of FC Tokyo, beside himself down there. He's desperate to hear the final whistle. Gesturing to the referee to say time is up, but here come FC Tokyo, and they've grabbed a second goal, brilliantly taken by Ricky Harakawa. And that does wrap up the points with pretty much the last kick of the game. First goal of the season for Harakawa. His 20th in the top flight. And the substitute makes a telling contribution. FC Tokyo 2, Kashima Antlers 0. Matsuki again with another assist, but what a finish from Harakawa. Arrowed into the top corner. No chance for Hayakawa, the Kashima Antlers goalkeeper. That is an absolute beauty from Ricky Harakawa. And that is it. Second straight win for FC Tokyo. Nakagawa, 10 minutes into the second half. And then the match wrapped up by Ricky 
Harakawa with pretty much the last kick of the game. Kuru Matsuki certainly played his part in this victory. And with successive wins against the Ra Reds and Kashima Antlers, both former Asian club champions. It is two big, big wins. Six massive points for FC Tokyo, who go above Kashima Antlers in the table. And they are buzzing, heading into next weekend's Tokyo Derby against Tokyo Verdi. Fabulous support. It has finished here at the Japan National Stadium. FC Tokyo 2, Kashima Atlas 0. That's a win that will take FC Tokyo into the top six. We'll move on to 11 points, one ahead of Kashima Atlas, who have now lost three of their opening seven games and find themselves six points adrift of FC Tokyo's city rivals, Machida Zelvia. We've taken everybody by surprise this season, but Kuru Matsuki is buzzing, and why not? Had an assist in both goals. Peter Klamovsky looking proud of what his side have done today. In the absence, let's not forget, of Yotaro Araki on loan from Kashima Antlers. Five goals in six appearances this season for FC Tokyo. Not available today, though, against his parent club. And as it turned out, he, he wasn't missed. Klamovsky was quite right. Makagawa leading the line, scored the goal. His first of the season, 10 minutes into the second half. And despite having chances to make it a more comfortable ending to the game, it took until the 96th minute for Ricky Arakawa to score. ありがとうございます。見事なゴールでした。まずゴールシーンを振り返っていただきたいんですが、松木選手のクロスにいいポジションに入っていきました。そうですね。もうクールに入った時にルックアップしてクリーバルックアップしてもう出してくれると思って